my start to finish meshing tutorial. And in this part, I'm just going to be showing you the UV mapping and all the little extras that you have to do for your meshing process. So there's one of two, these are, there's two ways you can get your um, UV. And I'm gonna use this way this time, but there is going to be another way you can get your UV. So this is the only way I know how to do it. So go to file, open model, um, go find the one, the shirt that you're, the mesh that you exported from Maya. So that will be the third one that I exported. And then you're just going to click file, save template, leave everything the way it is and click OK. And then I name it UV. And that's the first way. The second way is if this is this way will only show up if you baked your textures. So I have it saved over here, but you have to go to this PC documents, Maya projects, default, render data, mental ray, light map. And then you'll notice mine's right in here. I like to move it to the folder where everything's at, so. Um, and then you open it in Photoshop. Okay, so I've opened my two in Photoshop. Um, I am going to use my baked texture, I believe. Mm. You know what, I'm not going to use my baked texture in this for this mesh. I'm not crazy about it on this mesh. But <clears throat> it, there is a tutorial I will link you to that is great for editing baked textures like this from Maya. So I'll link you to that. Um, but I'm going to actually use this and there's not, like, there's going to be a texture, but there's not. Like, it's just going to be something neutral in-game because that's just the way that I want it to look. Um, but basically all I do is I double-click this lock and I delete the white part. And I click Control-Shift-I. Then I take my rectangular marquee tool and... I hold Alt and I remove all the body parts from being selected. So I'm going to zoom in here. Once you've deselected everything, you can zoom out again and then click Control J and then delete this bottom layer. Now you'll only have your um, texture in there. So I'm gonna get a color of around 135, 135, 135, so. And then I'm going to take my magic wand tool, oops, I forgot to delete the part right there. So make sure when you get your magic wand tool, the only thing selected is your um, mesh piece. And then control shift I. Now an anonymous asked me, how do I remove the seam lines? This is how. So all you have to do is go and color in your mesh right here with this color this plain color this is if you don't want to add like a real texture I do this if I'm like just and then after you do that just go to filter oops I mean select go to modify expand and I always expand it by like two and then oops not expand <laughs> and then make a new layer don't control J, just make a new layer. Filter, I mean, oh, select, modify, um, contract, 
I mean expand by two and then you know what I'm gonna go to um, select modify border and I'm gonna do four and then I'm gonna go select modify feather and then the feather radius should be on three and then you know what I'm gonna do it my way <laughs> sorry I like can't make up my mind when I do this stuff so uh, just make a new layer and then go to filter I mean uh, select modify expand by two and then make this layer go under it and then get a color that's a bit darker than the one that you have and then color it in around there and then if you deselect you'll see like the border part um if you want the border to be bigger like if you want it to be thicker line which you shouldn't make the line too thick but if you do want it to be a thicker line then um just ex expand it more um i like to feather it by like three and then you can filter blur gaussian blur and then don't blur it too much because if you do then it'll look weird Just blurred enough so that the like pixelation goes away. And then I like to merge visible and then save as DDS. Oh wait, before you do that, go to image, image size, 2048 by 2048. That makes like the everything look nicer. Just trust me on that one. <laughs> and then go to DDS. And then <clears throat> make sure DDS settings look like mine. Okay, now save. Once you finish saving, go back into here and delete all the other textures and then go to multiplier import UV and then um, I'm actually going I decided I'm gonna make another part after this <laughs> so then the mask is um, if you like if you want it like what parts you want recolorable so i'll show you how to do the mask so the background you're gonna make red complete red and then the main part i'm going to make red also and then i'm so you could you have a choice of red, yellow, and magenta. So my yellow always looks around around this color. Oops. And then I use the magic wand tool. And control shift I and I am going to color this in yellow, the sleeves. And then I'm gonna color that part in around like a magenta color. So something like that and then I don't know how to add four like colors, so like please don't ask. I'm sorry, I have no idea. So then you just flatten the image 
and then save it as a DDS and then name it mask. Same settings. And then you're going to import the mask and make sure that you enable these true, true. And you see the color difference. Um, and then, but I'm going to make mine all like one color. So you just go to edit the folder. I like go to miscellaneous and then just make it white. So I'm going to do that for all three. And then if you want to add another, just duplicate. And then let's say like I want to add stripes this time. So stripes is going to be, and I believe the geometric. Okay, and then find that pattern and then select it. So I don't have to keep searching every time. I'm just going to export this, name it, or something random, and then import it for this. Okay, now, you know what? I'm just, I'm, this is going to be the last part. I'm just going to get everything done. So, there is a tutorial, and make sure there's nothing in the overlay of stencils. So there is a tutorial on how to do this normal thing, but if you go to material and hit the dot dot dot, you go to edit, import, import your UV, the one you put in the multiplier, in the diffuse and alpha map. Now this normals one is really important. I'll give you my file that I use because I'm not great at adding detail in the normals place. Uh, but my specular I always make black just to stay safe. The specular is basically, the lighter it is, the shinier you want it, the darker it is, the less shinier you want it. Um, I always keep it black. But the normals, you have to have this file, and it looks like nothing's there, but it's really actually gray, but you just can't see it. You have to have it or it'll have that horrible, horrible shine on your custom content. Um, but you don't have to do this part that I just did, the materials part in the medium or low level of detail because you don't even really see it. So um, make sure you put the clothing speculars black there also. I'll give you those two files and that is it. That is, I mean you've finished. You export to Sims 3 Pack and I'm going to name this uh, boyfriend shirt and then it's just going to compress the file and you are done you've made your mesh so uh, if you have any questions I'll be happy to help um, and I hope this was like easy for you. So thank you for watching.